All right, we're here live. We're uh, hands off. Get out. We're talking some UFC 229. Holy shit! What just happened, Dave? Uh, so it looks like well, Connor Taps Khabib uh, won, and then Khabib jumped the fence to fight with Connor's team, and she cut very real. Oh, dude, this is like, uh, I don't know if you, you guys watch basketball, but it's like the, uh, uh, Malice, the Malice in the Palace. Dude, this is nuts. Like, so he won the fight. Um, <coughs> I kind of lost my voice. It, it, was, it was a dominant victory by, by Habib. Uh, well done. He, he, he controlled it. But what the hell happened? He, he's a hothead. He lost it. This is like really weird. The okay, so that Bruce Buffer just like called the called the decision with nobody in the cage. Neither fighter in the cage. Like that is the weirdest shit we've seen. He is the champion by neck break. All right, Every, everyone in here, everyone in here is cheering. Everyone in here is cheering. I don't know how long this is gonna last. Um, he just went after Connor's team. Um, the, uh, the, the, the aftermath here is going to be very, very interesting and very entertaining. Like, shit's going to go down. Uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, this is an organization that said what Connor did, bringing his posse over. Uh, the last time Khabib fought, when he fought Ala Quinta, to, to be the champion. Uh, they said that was the most disgusting thing that ever happened. And then they ran into promo. You know, so maybe this may be the next most disgusting thing that ever happened, and this is the trailer for McGregor Khabib too. So, <laughs> man, but crazy. I, I think I saw him. He won. It looked. It looked like the beginning of the end. It, fourth round, Connor looked gassed. Um, Khabib was able to tag him. Actually, knocked him down in the second round. Very impressive. Uh, uh, I was not expecting Khabib to land a punch like that on Connor. And so, fourth round, you know, Connor says he gets a little. That's his danger zone. He gets a little woozy there. Um, didn't look good. Khabib took him down. And, and, you almost thought if a submission was put out there, Connor might just take it. It didn't look like he was. Right, yeah, he had much left. Like, okay, this is my out. But then Khabib took it and like ran with it and took the cage. And, uh, there but, we go. but then you had a uh, gravy train. Hey man, no. Did you see how much uh, Dana went over there and checked on his boy? That's. That's, that's still the hype train. Connor's still the big name. Even though Khabib beat him, people, Connor's still the big name. People go to bars to watch Connor fight, not Khabib. So, um, the bar we're at right now does not show fights unless Connor's fighting. It's true. It's true. Um, it'll be interesting. That, I don't know how competitive a, a second fight would be. I think the narrative and the build-up for it would be incredible. But I think Khabib showed tonight... He has a great game plan for what McGregor does. Was was able to uh, negate a lot of what Connor does well. Was able to hit him, which we weren't really expecting. Um, the ability to control him on the ground, we knew that was going to happen. If anything, props to Connor early rounds for controlling it and not getting completely demolished. But uh, you knew if Khabib was able to consistently secure takedowns, it was only a matter of time. I was surprised by how early. He was able to secure it. It was like, damn, this is going to be a long night. It happened, it happened real quick. I mean, like, in the first round, I expected Connor to be able to land a lot more shots. But you're right. In the first round, can be like, one by two down. Not down. Super early. But like you were saying, I was very impressed with Connor's ability to uh, withstand the damage for the most part through the first two rounds. That's why he found the defense on that but yeah, like this. This is all setting it up for you know, two, I guess. Especially yeah. after that promo was cut. Like, Look, or, or like who knows, who knows what's going to happen? So, all that. That right there. Boom. It was. It was that craziness. No. Kind of sound. <laughs> Um, I don't know, it might be, it might still be. 
Yeah. I thought it actually cut us off. We're still on. Oh, no. <laughs> that's crazy. Crazy like this night. Crazy like this fights. Um, yeah, I, that's a good question. Did Khabib get disqualified? I, Dana went over there. It looked like there might be a chance. Uh, Dana was very unhappy, it looked like. And Connor is the gold boy. We all know that. Uh, and Khabib's a hothead. He did some crazy shit there. So we'll see. Like, we'll see. It, it, it was really hard to tell what was going on off the TV because the cameras panned away. So all we got was like, the, the wide view from, like, you know, in the air or whatever, so it's hard to tell what's going on, but there, there are going to be repercussions from that brawl that happened after this fight. Please! Please what? You want the rematch? Uh, I don't know. I, if you're a Connor fan, Connor's got to... He's back to the drawing boards on this one, boards. He's I, back to the drawing boards on this one. I, I, I will take a rematch as a Connor fan. Connor comes to strong on rematch. You think so? It's, it's Connor. He learns. He learns. You saw him in the fight. He went out there, blew his load early, was able to go back, adjust, do really well for himself. Maybe he learns from this. We were talking a little bit earlier. I, I, I think that um, he was talking about how he brought in big guys to train against. But I think Khabib is about the technique, the ability to move. You, you saw him, he, he kind of pulled Connor away from the cage, was on the bottom of Connor, was able to leg sweep around, gain full mount, and then it was raining shots on him. His ability to control you once you get down to the ground is just something that other people can't mimic. It's not a strength and size thing with Khabib. It really is a, a skill and technique thing. And that's something that, um, you know, you, you have to really go through many rounds. I think in some ways you have to game plan against it. What Connor did tonight, it's not worth. Uh, but you're right, David. We've seen him go back and figure out a game plan, and it, he could fight a very different way. Uh, you didn't see Connor. Th you don't see Connor throw a lot of leg kicks in the Nate rematch. He spam leg kicks um, early on, try to wear on that lead leg of Nate. So you've seen him adapt to fights before, especially if he gets that rematch. So we'll see. I mean, still, still one of the biggest fights. Uh, Ferguson also won tonight, so that's interesting. Want to see what he does, uh, what the UFC want to do for him. And also remember, in the weeds, we got Nate and Poirier, a 55 match, maybe 65, but probably 55 match. So, what happens there? Um, Poirier. Poirier is the king of violence. Poirier wins. Just no way, though. Just no way. I love Poirier as well. Um, I've, I've been on his I've trashed out a documentary about him. Um, very humble guy. I love him. He seems to continually improve his game. But Actually, what a crazy night. Uh, a Connor rematch I want to see is uh, Connor and Justin, too. That fight would be fucking fireworks. I think if Connor won tonight and Dustin won, yeah, yeah. That could have been, we that's, would have been like, sorry, Ferguson. That is what I want to see, honestly. Personally, that's what I want. Man, that'd be awesome. What a, what a crazy night. We were talking, a lot of fights where um, one person was winning and then lost at the very end. We, we saw that in the, the Pettis Vanita fight. We saw that in the Derek Lewis, Lewis uh, Vulcan fight. Derek Lewis, by the way. Mad props, shout out my man, H-Town, strong, what the hell, dude was resilient, stayed strong, got the finish, what a beast, what a, that's, is that racist for me to what? <laughs> but he's a black beast, he's a black beast, not racist, he's not racist, he's not racist, he's not racist, um, you know, uh, Watterson, uh, Felice Herrick, hell of a fight, um, Honestly, yeah. like, Nick Wentz was a great manner. Who thought that was going to happen? Right. That was, right. Damn. Good fight. Good fight. Ferguson Pettis? I, you know, it was entertaining. It was really entertaining. All those guys you keep posting, like, they just bleed you. That was Ferguson Pettis. There you go. Just bleed. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, man, just a, just a crazy night. Just a crazy night of Khabib. Hashtag and still. Congratulations to him. Still undefeated. Uh, it's just incredible. And, you know, if you if you were a, a not necessarily a Connor fan, you were just a Khabib hater, didn't quite believe in the hype trade. 10-0 to UFC. 
16 against some unknowns and other promotions. Who is he really fought? Um, his fight against Al Quinta, not very impressive. He goes in here and does this against Conor McGregor. Uh, uh, very impressive. Very impressive. So, Khabib was legit. legit, guys. We're definitely now. I think. No ifs, ands, or buts about it now. I'm going to end on this, David. I think my take the UFC is going to want to try to book Khabib Connor before they want to have another failed pay per view with Khabib Ferguson. Because yes. Khabib Ferguson, you know, one of them's pulling out. Uh, Connor, he's going to be there. He's going to make championship weight. He'll be there. You know, he's going to sell the show. Uh, he might show up late to the press conferences, but whatever. You love him. It helps. So, yeah. All right. That's it, man. Besides, those were our thoughts. What, what a crazy, what, what madness. I mean, uh, they, they pulled the camera out, widescreen. They obviously didn't want to see what was happening. From the few things that we could see clearly, um, I, just to get, you know, not to sound petty, just to get into things that may be talking points, looked like Khabib maybe held on a little too long on that tap, had to kind of get pushed off, um, went off. Was really angry, was talking shit, understandably. This is the guy who went after his dad, went after his team. Fine, you got the victory, good for you. You, alert, you deserve a little shit talking. Um, Connor just looked tired. Khabib went over. All of a sudden, we saw Khabib start yelling. A bunch of uh, people in like the purple UFC uh, uh, jackets like went in to, to kind of get in the way to stop him. He jumped the fence anyway, seemed to jump the fence where Connor's group was. Um, from my eye, I could see Dylan Danis um, there in the picture. I would imagine if all the guys there, he would be the guy that was shit-talking and antagonizing them. Still not a good look for Khabib. It looked like he was the guy that he was going for. And then it looked like someone um, from Khabib's camp, it sounds like, jumped the cage and got Connor. Try to fight Connor in the cage, yeah. Weird stuff. And then, like, like David was saying... They didn't have the volume particularly high here. We didn't. We don't exact. We didn't exactly catch what was happening, but it sounded like. Uh, oh, it looked like Dana White was reprimanding Khabib, and, and Khabib looked really disappointed. So I can't imagine that was. All right, man. That was. You should have done that. That was not cool. We're gonna give your belt somewhere else. It, it sounded like, and you know maybe. Um, it, 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 it sounded like it might be, or it looked like anyway. Said it might be something more serious, David. Oh, right. Yeah. No, I, I, that's what we did. There will be repercussions to this uh, action. Right, and, and again, just I'm adding serious? more sizzle. Just right. adding more sizzle to it because this is the guy that threw a dolly at a bus, you know, all this drama, uh, went to, you know, went to jail in handcuffs, um, had his battles with the legal system, as he put it, and it comes back and it has this really hyped up fight with Khabib. Um, and now we're seeing it the other side uh, with Khabib losing control. Uh, and, and you know, potentially getting himself in some trouble, but two, two is going to happen. We we know that after that, Khabib Connor two is fucking guaranteed. I think so too. I think so too. All right, guys, peace out.